Good morning everyone welcome to the morning tales for June 5th 2019 and in this video we are going to discuss the Mexican highest civilian award we are going to discuss about the national security advisor and the outbreak of Nipah virus in Kerala as well along with this RBI has come up with the report on bank fraud we will be discussing about that also before starting with the morning tales I would like to tell you that we are giving the 10 mock tests for phase 1 and 5 mock tests for phase 2 and that too just for rupees triple nine. the gross amount is 1500 rupees and you can use the coupon code MOCKS MOCKS to avail this discount and get the test for rupees 999 so do not forget to buy these uh, mock tests from the link mentioned in the description. Let's start with the first question. So who has been awarded with the order of the Aztec Eagle? Now Aztec Eagle is the Mexican's highest civilian order and it has been presented to Pratibha Patil. So she was the uh, former, she is the former president of India and in fact she was the one who created history by becoming the country's first women president. So her duration was from 2007 to 2012 and she was the first women president of India. Apart from her, our former president S. Radhakrishnan was presented with this order of the Aztec Eagle that is the Mexican civil, highest civilian award. Next question for today is what is India's rank among the B leisure travelers as per the study conducted by bookings.com. So it was found out in this uh, study where they have conducted the study on 31 countries and it was found out that India is at the second position who believed or uh, who, are, who have the maximum numbers of second largest number of B leisure travelers. Now this B leisure traveler means business and leisure. So this means that it's a new trend where business and leisure trips are included and they are being known as B leisure. So after Thailand, Around 70, so 80 percent was the percentage for Thailand and 72 percent was the uh, percentage for India where it was believed that around 72 percent of Indian travelers have extended their business trips in 2018. So India is at the second position in terms of the B leisure travelers as being conducted by the study conducted by the booking.com. So this study was conducted in the October-November duration, October-November 2018 with approximately 53,492 respondents and including approximately 1852 Indians. Moving on to the next question and quite important question for today with respect to the RBI examination. So what is the amount of bank fraud reported by RBI in 2018-19? So recently an report, a report have been, has been submitted by Reserve Bank of India where they have told that the uh, for the year 2018-19 there were as many as 6801 cases of bank frauds and the amount was 71,542.93 crore. So this was the exact amount of bank frauds being conducted in the year 2018-19 the previous year. If we talk about the duration 2017-18, so for the same duration there were approximately 5916 cases and out of those cases the amount was 41.167. So from 2017 to 2018-19 the amount the increase is approximately of 73% or we can say there is a 73% increase in the fraud amount which has been prescribed by RBI. So what stands important in this question that 6801 cases were reported where it was found the amount the bank frauds amount was 71,542.93 crore and it was it is approximately 73% increase from the previous year which had the amount bank amount fraud of bank fraud amount of 41,167.7 crores. So if we take into consideration the 11 financial years, the past financial 11 fiscal years, so we will see that there were approximately 53,334 cases reported and the amount stands at 2.05 lakh crore. The total amount stands at this figure in the last 11 fiscal years. So the amount of bank fraud is increasing year by year. Therefore, the Central Vigilance Commission has been set up and it's the anti-corruption watchdog of India. Important to note this question. So it's more of factual question. So try to remember the figures. Moving on to the next question and very easy question. So who is the current NSA of India? NSA here stands for National Security Advisor. 
So the government of India has appointed Ajit Doval who is the retired IPS officer. He has been extended for another five years. His term has been extended for another five years as the national security advisor. Also these all mentioned over here are the secu national security advisor, the former ones. So you need to tell me in the comment section below that who was the first or who is the first national security advisor of India. The hint for this question is that the answer is hidden in the option itself. So mention that in the comment section that what is the name of the person who was the first national security advisor of India. Moving on to the next one. So what is the theme for the 2019 World Environment Day? So 2019 World Environment Day, first of all, today we observe this day, June 5th is the day when the World Environment Day is observed and the theme for this year is Beat Air Pollution. So if you remember, there was this campaign, Hava Hane De campaign, which was launched by the Environment Ministry. So this campaign was launched to curb the air pollution. So this was the initiative taken by India and the theme for this year is Beat Air Pollution. So this campaign was on the sidelines of the theme for World Environment Day. Moving on to the next question, so which of the following is zoonotic diseases? First of all, you need to know that zoonotic diseases are those diseases which are spread which spread from animals to humans. So those diseases which spread from animals to humans, those are known as zoonotic diseases. So let's look at these uh, options one by one. So bird flu, what are the animals involved in the bird flu? So bird flu is caused because of the wild birds or chickens can cause bird flu. So it's animal. So Nipah virus is caused by the fruit bat, then that is again an animal. If we talk about Ebola, so Ebola is caused due to the uh, monkeys, chimpanzees and in fact the fruit bats. Let's write monkeys and chimpanzees as of now and the fruit bat as well. So again, uh, it is spreading from animals to humans. Rabies, so the most common source of rabies is dog. So these all, so answer for this question is all of these, are, these all are the zoonotic diseases that, are, that spreads from animals to humans. Recently, there was this news about Nipah virus that there is a, it was found in, uh, in Kerala. So there are chances that it might affect Kerala. Also, why the name Nipah has been given? What is the purpose of this Nipah? So Nipah was first found in the, this Nipah virus was first found in Malaysia and the name of that village was Sungai Nipah. Therefore, the name has been taken from this village where this Nipah virus was first identified that too in approximately 1998 or 1999. And according to World Health Organization, there are no specific drugs or vaccines for Nipah virus. Now it's time for you to mention the answer in the comment section. So where is the Elephanta festival observed? The very famous Elephanta caves are located in the same state where this festival is observed and it's a two-day festival observed in the states. So Elephanta Caves and Elephanta Festival, they are related. So you need to mention the name of the state in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Anuj Jindal and press the bell icon as well. And do not forget to attempt the mock tests which are available in the link mentioned in the description. And do not forget to attempt the mock test for Nabad Grade A as Nabad Grade A is just about to happen on June 15th and 16th. I hope you are preparing well for the examination. Thank you so much for watching the video.